Good morning. It's Monday again, and it's a beautiful day, a beautiful Monday, and I'm very hopeful that today will be very productive, positive, and um, enjoyable for my family, and I pray that it is for you guys too. So, I did a vlog, uh, or Facebook Live, a while back, um, pleading with you to help me figure out some mom hacks, some secrets to somehow managing a home, okay? So, um, I'm not here to claim that I have figured it all out, however, I do think I've learned some hacks to keep a clean house. And I'm very encouraged, and I'm looking forward to um, applying these more in my life and seeing how it changes our home. Okay, so I'm just going to start down a list, and here we go. Number one, start early. I know that doesn't sound very fun, but have a set time that you wake up. What? Have you seen my matching shirts? Have I seen your matching oh, shirts? It couldn't be a Facebook shirt. Live without the kids in here. They were back there playing. Your ma oh, your Lululemon shirts? Um, I have not. And not the Lululemon and shirt. And mine. The one that Annie gave you. Shirt. What Annie gave me? That's a Lululemon shirt. And my yeah. matching yeah. shirt. What matches? Yeah. Yeah. Who's um, getting us some? Yeah, I think um, um, Annie. Yeah, look, Annie is here. And um, who's Annie? Okay, yeah, and I will tell you that too, Justine, how I get my makeup on daily, because that is also a hack. I have my own makeup. Um, Hazel does have her own makeup. Okay, so I'm going to start over. So gonna number gonna one you is you makeup. wake up early. I've said this Stand lots here. of times in my vlogs because um, I just think it's so awesome. A friend of mine told me she read in a vlog, we are to wake up yeah. for our children, not oh. to our children. And so that was oh. very... Um, convicting because I was waking up to the cries of my kids for years and uh, then I decided I would start um, oh you're, she's going to show you her makeup I would start waking up before them my makeup. and so um, here's her makeup here. I'm show you my makeup. so I'll just give you a rundown of my schedule of my day okay there's Hazel's makeup um, of my morning schedule here. Um, and it's like I said, this is, I don't think I said it, but I thought it, um, this is not, it doesn't have to be your schedule, but this is what I've learned is my schedule because this is works for our family. So our, my alarm goes off at 4.30. It's really early. Um, and I, I try, I'm, I'm out of bed by 5. Um, so sometimes I get up before 5. It just depends on the things that ahead of me that I have to do. Okay, you can do your own makeup show after I'm done with this, okay? Um, so from 5 to 6 no, is no, when I no, have my time. No, no, for Facebook Live by alone. myself and, and all, <laughs> yeah. my, all my own, and you're not okay. going to see. Okay, all right, I can do that. And you're not going to talk or going to be in the video. Okay. I'm just going to be in the I video. I thought you were <laughs> doing my makeup. Okay, I thought you were done with Facebook. Did you change your mind? I was going to do my <laughs> Facebook. Okay. Okay, so five to six is when I have prayer and I read the word, and um, that is not to be prideful or tell you that to think highly of me. That took years and years and years of um, lots of failures and lots of not getting up and lots of not doing it to finally just developing a good habit of doing it, and it just makes my whole day go better. So... Um, so, I, I'm not perfect. Please do not hear me say that. Um, so, five to six is when that happens. And then six, I stop. And from six to 6.15, okay, here's your answer, Justine. I put on my makeup. I And I do my hair. I can get it all done in 15 minutes. So, um, I've just learned to do it fast and do it quick. And I've learned also that I enjoy wearing makeup. I feel more, I just feel put together. I feel, hey, will you go check on Evangeline, please? That doesn't sound very good back there. Hazel, don't mess with that, please. Go go check on her. Ty? Is everything okay? Yeah, they're okay. Okay. 
Um, I just, that's something personally that I like to do. Mama, I, it it, it makes me feel up. like the day is moving forward. Mama, I don't feel I'm behind. It, it's just something that I can conquer at the very beginning of the day that gives me a sense of accomplishment. Mama, so I do it. Up. I just, I, I've set a schedule and that's the time I do. Okay, well, I'm, I'm doing this right now and then you can do your makeup thing after me. Okay. Uh, so that's my answer to that um, is I just have a set time that I do it every single morning. If I don't have a set time that I do it, it just won't happen. It just won't get on. So, and makeup may not be important to you, and it doesn't have to be. But for me, uh, I enjoy doing makeup. It's a time where I kind of get to be alone, and I feel like I'm kind of playing. And I've always enjoyed doing makeup, and so that time for me is, it's life-giving to me. So, that's why I do it. Um... Um, okay, so Melody's asking the thing. Yeah, okay, so, and then, um, my, and then I, um, so I start early. Okay, all right, now I'm going to move on, uh, and I, and I'll talk more about my schedule in just a second, but, um, yeah. <clears throat> this, number two, okay, number two, so first was start early, number two is be at home more, okay? I know not all of you, uh, are stay-at-home moms, and you don't, um, you're not able to do that, and, but here's, here's what I'm learning. Even for you, those of you who are not stay-at-home moms, all of us have the ability to carve out more time at home. So all of us do, whether you're working full-time, working part-time, hey, you're at home full-time. Okay. Uh, we all can uh, create more time at home. And so ask yourself, what is, um, what is something I can carve out in my life? What is necessary? What is, is this, and, and I talked so about this actually, and I'll do this in a different uh, Facebook live, but, uh, you know, when Mary and Martha were, um, with Jesus and Martha was, you know, freaking out and she was doing all this extra stuff and she was stressed, and but Mary was at the feet of Christ. Um, Jesus' response to her when she got upset was, Martha, only one thing is necessary. And so, um, so really, she was doing things that weren't even necessary. And, you know, that was her own fault. You know, she had put these high expectations on herself, and she put way more on herself than she should have, and so she felt the stress of that. So I asked myself, is this necessary? Is this necessary for my family's journey, for their spiritual growth, for their overall well-being? Is this activity necessary? So, and some things you you have to get rid of that are good things, you know, like um, we are not going to do Bible study fellowship next year, and we're going to really miss that, but uh, we just have discovered that being gone two almost full days a week with homeschool and BSF, I cannot get um, things done at the house. So... Now, it doesn't mean that my kids aren't going to be taught the, the scriptures because uh, we're doing that daily here in the house. So that's going to happen. Okay, so we're going to be at home more. Be at home more. Okay, got it? Um, and that sounds very simple, but let me tell you, it is powerful. Because the more you are home, the more time that you have here to maintain your home. Number three, do not do... What are you going to stop? In just a minute. And number three? Okay, not number three. I have like six points. I'm going to fly through them, though. Stay with me. Hazel, go check on Evangeline, please. I want a makeup show. You can in just a minute. Okay, do not do. And this was given. This was a hack that you guys gave to me, and I'm applying it. Do not do what your children can do for themselves. Don't do it. Okay, so I started applying this. And it's very hard. Are they, is she okay? <laughs> it is hard to apply. Your kids monster. will kick. They will scream. They will fight. They do not want to help at the house. They hate it. And it's a fight. And it's so much easier to do it yourself. It's so much easier to take the clothes that they dropped on the floor and go take them to the laundry basket. But I'm refusing to do for them what they can do for themselves. And let me tell you, it was heck. The first week or two. Lots of spankings. Lots of discipline. But now, it's awesome. It is so awesome. And let me just give you the age ranges here. I'm talking about a six-year-old and a three-year-old. 
that are now helping. And literally, they are lightening my load. So I can tell Hazel now, go to the living room and clean the living room. She can clean the living room now. She still needs guidance. She still needs monitoring. She likes to stuff things under the couch. She likes to, you know, I think those are happy noises. Okay. Um, but I've learned that I, it's, it's a process of teaching them how to clean. And also where I failed in this and teaching them is I got, was getting really mad at them for doing it wrong. But the reality was is I never taught them how to do it right. So how can I be mad at them if I've never taught them how to do it right? So when you start applying this, you have to be patient at the beginning. You have to go, okay, we're in a learning session here. We are, I'm teaching them how to clean. I'm teaching them how to properly put their clothes in their drawers. I'm teaching them how to put the pillows on the couch correctly. And it's exhausting. I will tell you that. It is exhausting at first. But the, the payout is huge huge so literally I can now like I said go tell Hazel go clean the living room and then I don't even have to clean it she's six okay and my three-year-old he has simple tasks that he does um, Titus go pick up your toys in your room he's still struggling a lot but we're making progress okay number four declutter bye bye. this is really big the less you have the less you have to clean my sister is doing a major, my older sister is doing a major like decluttering thing at her house and she's reading this book and one of the questions that they tell you to ask yourself with everything in your home is does this spark joy? And if it doesn't spark joy, you need to get rid of it. So, but I think that there are some things that are practical that maybe don't necessarily spark joy. Like I look at that clock over there and I think, eh, it doesn't really spark joy. I wish I had a new clock, but I need a clock right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so declutter, and I heard an awesome seminar on decluttering Give not that long ago, and I'll have to share the link for you. Uh, but one of the things that uh, they talked about was don't be afraid to give and throw things away that people gave to you. Don't hold on to things just because someone gave it to you. Get rid of that stuff. So the Hazel, is she okay? She's not okay? I think she's probably okay. Okay. So declutter, go through all your stuff. And, and one of the things that helps me declutter and get rid of things is I go, someone else could be happier with this than I am. So someone else could be blessed by this. Like if I've got too many clothes in the kid's closet, the way I motivate myself is I say, there's a child out there that maybe couldn't afford, their parents couldn't afford to go buy them these clothes, and I want to bless them with these clothes. That is highly motivating to get rid of. Get off my star blanket. Can you say please? Please. Hey, can I do my makeup? Um, oh, sure now. Oh, there's your star's blanket. Okay. Um, now please. Okay. And, okay, so declutter. Um, okay, create habits. Create habits. Simple habits. Simple habits that are achievable, that are attainable, that are not too hard. Um, makeup show. No, not right now. Um. So here's two simple habits that I've developed in the past month. I um, am making my bed up before I leave my room in the morning. So I told you I, I have a set time that I put my makeup on and my hair, and I can do all of that in like 15 or 20 minutes. And I don't leave my room unless uh, I'm dressed and my bed is made up. So it's just a simple habit that I've developed that now I know before I leave my room I'm going to make it up. Because if I leave my room, <laughs> I don't make up my bed, I will not come back. I will rarely come back and make it up. So that's a simple habit that I've created that now, you know, it's just so nice to have your bed made. I mean, it just, and it seems so hard and so daunting to do it. But, um, but if you create a simple habit, um, like just like a rule for yourself, a boundary, um, it gets done. And, it's, and it doesn't feel like a burden. It's like you're not looking at it all day long going, oh, i got to make my bed, i got to make my bed. And so I've developed that simple habit. Another simple habit um, we're developing. Oh, honey, are you okay? He just fell back towards and hit his head. Are you okay? Yeah, okay. And then we have a marker here that we're drawing on stuff, Evangeline. Thank you. Um... Is we're put instead of just throwing clothes on the floor, we're just taking them straight to the laundry. And um, 
So I'm teaching my kids how to do that. So that's Come another simple on. habit that we have that will, um, um, <laughs> I can't think. See, this is why I wake up before my kids, because my brain stops working. Um, okay, and number, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have seven of these, and I'm on number six. Number six is do laundry every single day. Every single day, do some laundry, whether it's just folding even if it's just folding five shirts, do laundry every single day. Like, don't let a day go by without doing some laundry because it piles up so fast. I've now gotten to where, like, in the mornings, I'm starting loads every morning. So, even if you can't finish it, I mean, come on, let's just be realistic. Sometimes you just can't finish it. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, sometimes it sits in the washer for a day. And I know that freaks some of you out. But it's just my world. It's my reality. So, but I'm moving forward in that. I'm doing something in the laundry room every day. So, simple goals there. Simple habits. Um, so that was my number six. And number seven, make a schedule. John and I were just like fighting every morning. Mainly it was me. Just being mad at him. Um... <laughs> when we got this new schedule because John is taking Jude to school now and it's like our schedule was all thrown off in the mornings and I couldn't figure out how to get things done and I couldn't figure out how to get myself ready Come and on, just guys. everything was thrown off so I made a schedule I made a morning schedule Say and move it, if it's you like be on my team it's just amazing how that simple concept can make you so productive and the schedule is not that complicated. It, I have a set time I wake up. I have a set time that I do my makeup. I have, you know, a set like from 6.15 to 6.45. There are certain things I have to get done, and there's a list of those things. So that I know I have expectations for myself. They are set. They are um, they're clear. The expectations are clear. They keep me from getting distracted. I know that in 30 minutes, I have to... Um, I have to make John's lunch. I have to... What else do I have to do? I can't remember. No, you clean the living room. I mean, you have to, you have to like, um, make breakfast for him. You have to yeah. cook dinner for him. Or... Yeah, that's true. You know what? Daddy cooks his own breakfast, though. So that was an expectation that we laid out there and that we decided that he would do. So that relieves my load. Um, I can't remember what else I have to do. I know it's more than just make his lunch. If but anyway, there's set clear things that we do anymore, on the schedule you have that to I know go. that need to be done. To okay, so make a schedule. Make That's a simple true. schedule. Maybe it's just a morning schedule. Don't overwhelm yourself with this detailed daily schedule because if you do that, then you're just going to find your... Because... Shh, go. Go over there. Go over there. If you don't want me to interrupt your makeup live, then you don't need to interrupt mine. Okay, so um, where was I? Okay, don't make too detailed of a schedule because if you do, I mean, let's just be honest. Life is going to happen. People are going to come over unexpectedly. You're going to have doctor's appointments, which speaking of, I have one really soon. Um, you know, and then you're going to freak out because your schedule's off. Um, I'm really big on not making too detailed of the schedule. Now, my morning schedule, it's it's detailed, but it, it's got room to breathe. Um, and it, uh, and my morning schedule is only like a two-hour schedule. So, we've just set a schedule in the morning. So, Okay, that's all I have for you. I hope it has encouraged you. I hope that maybe you can take some of these and say, hey, that might work with my family. And um, make your life a little bit easier. Now, let me tell you, my house is still messy. Um, but it's, it's, it's less messy. It's less messy. Uh, there's some more order here. We're making more progress. And I think that the further down the road we get in this and the more children we add to our little clan that, um, we're going to figure this out and really have a well-oiled machine here. Now it may take 10 years, but Hey, there's grace and, um, I'm giving grace for myself and you should give grace for yourself too, because we're all a work in progress, and um, yeah.
we're learning every day how to do this mom thing. I love y'all so much, and I hope that you have a great day. And Hazel's going to do a Facebook Live in just a little bit. on her. She's going to do a makeup tutorial, okay? So y'all tune in. All right, y'all have a good day. Bye.